Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of John Matrix Talks Movies. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. Today, let's talk about the DCEU and Star Wars. Now, Aquaman, which was released in December of 2018, it has become the highest grossing DCEU movie ever. It passed The Dark Knight Rises, and it's the first of the new DC movies to pass $1 billion at the box office. And it has very, very good reviews. And Wonder Woman also came out under the DCEU, and it had very, very good reviews. Now, the problem has been Justice League and Batman vs. Superman. Even Man of Steel was moderately received kind of well. Not above the huge expectations it had, but generally it was okay to a lot of people. And now we have Star Wars. Since they came back, they've had, I would say in my opinion, two big hits, The Force Awakens and Rogue One. Now, The Last Jedi pretty much destroyed and fractured the fan base and Solo A Star Wars Story became the first Star Wars movie to lose money at the box office. And this got me thinking, who is in a better place today and who has performed better overall? Not just from a financial standpoint, but who has been making better movies in general? And I think that Star Wars and the DCEU is a pretty good comparison. So. I really, really, really enjoyed Aquaman. To me, it is the best movie in the DCEU. It's better than Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman was received very well. I enjoyed Wonder Woman. I also really did enjoy Man of Steel also. But as a whole, not everybody enjoyed Man of Steel that much. Justice League, the reviews were pretty bad. For Justice League. Batman versus Superman, not so good either. But if you look at where the DCEU started with Man of Steel, then you got Batman vs. Superman, and it didn't go so well, Justice League, but then you had Wonder Woman, which was a big hit. And now they're coming off Aquaman, which was a massive hit. It was great. And there's a lot of anticipation now for the Joker movie that's coming out later on this year. People are excited for it. Now, Star Wars is quite different. The Force Awakens broke box office records when it came out, but pretty much since then, it hasn't really been the same. They released Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It performed very, very well at the box office, even though it's a, it made a billion dollars less than the Force Awakens, but remember that wasn't a saga film. And then the problem started. The problem started with The Last Jedi. That one movie, I believe, it is the worst out of any movie that the DCEU has came out with, and also it is worse than um, any Star Wars movie has come out with. It is in a league by itself as far as how bad the movie was. And then you get to Solo. Solo made the least amount of money out of all the Star Wars movies and DCEU movies. And that's the last two Star Wars movies that came out. And there doesn't seem to be a lot of hype for Star Wars Episode Nine. Now, Shazam is coming out too for the DCEU and the trailer looks really good. People are generally excited to see it. Now, I'm not saying that people aren't excited for Star Wars Episode 9, but I think the expectations for Star Wars Episode 9 are much lower now than it is for the DCEU. I think people are really are expecting Shazam and Wonder Woman 1984 to be very good. Uh, Aquaman 2, um, a lot of people want that movie to happen because 
of how great Aquaman was. Star Wars is just not the same. It is really just not the same. There's a lot of people that aren't invested in the new characters that the new regime at Star Wars, Lucasfilm, they, they put out. I mean, Ray, Fan, Poe, Kylo Ren, they're not really popular. And they, they still need, I believe, the original trilogy characters to actually market a movie. Their new characters cannot stand on their own. Now, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, she can stand on her own. Jason Momoa as Aquaman can stand on his own. Even Henry Cavill as Superman can stand on his own. Can't say the same thing for Star Wars. So my conclusion is that the DCEU is in a much better place now and they have put out better movies overall as a whole than Star Wars. There aren't any political agendas that are in the DCEU movies like there have been in Star Wars and they're not alienating their fan base. Like when people didn't like Justice League or Batman vs Superman, people pretty much let Zack, Zack Snyder know it, but he didn't go off and start attacking fans like Ryan Johnson, for example. And you also had Chuck Wendig, you know, calling people, you know, races and sexes and all that other stuff too. It's completely different from the way Warner Brothers DCEU has handled the fan base versus the way Lucasfilm has handled, handled the fan base. It's been much more professional at Warner Brothers and the DCEU. So that's my conclusion. That's the way I see it. Warner Brothers DCEU has put out better movies and their future is a lot brighter than, than Star Wars. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me and we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.